What's up everybody and I hope you guys are on doing your wonderful day and this is going to be another weather forecast here by Adrian's Weather Forecast. In this video we're going to be discussing for the potential for a major snowstorm uh, later this weekend here for the Rockies and portions of the western plains that not only will bring in really really heavy snow potentially a ton of snow one to two feet and possibly over four feet in the Rockies but possibly as well some severe weather for portions of Dixie Alley and the south Central. So we're looking at a massive snowstorm plus severe weather from the same system here. So definitely a ton of look, uh, to look forward to here and see exactly whether this can pan out like the way models do show it. But before we get in the video, be sure to hit the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as I post. As well, hit the subscribe button. I really would appreciate it so you can get my daily content as well for other more stuff. And as well, be sure to like the video if you really, really enjoyed it. But without further ado, let's get into the forecast. So first things first, let's go ahead and check a look at the European model. So we're going to go ahead and skip all the way up to this Saturday here. So this is 132 hours out. So as you see, we are going to start seeing some snow developing across portions of the Rockies, mainly for the four corner states, specifically though, Colorado, where we'll possibly see the heaviest snow at least on Saturday into Sunday here. But by Sunday, much of the day, the snow will become more widespread across these areas here. But as well, we are going to have that cold there in the backside of the western United States with that really warm air kind of towards the east. So that's going to not only rise chances for some really heavy snow in that colder air regions, but some severe weather in those areas where we have that warm air to the east. So as we now get into Sunday here, so basically a week from now, you see that snow really does intensify here across portions of Colorado, New Mexico as well, now reaching its way into Kansas and Oklahoma. But so that severe weather, that severe weather as well could possibly really, really increase as low pressure could really well to strengthen or really allow for that precipitation rate to really, really increase here. But as you know, go throughout Sunday, the severe weather will continue to become a threat across portions of Dixie Alley and as well, potentially as well, into Texas here where we have that warmer air from 60s and 70s, even from close 80s, while we have that really, really heavy snow across portions of the southern and as well portions of the Rockies. So really heavy snow for portions of Colorado really heavy snow when it comes to areas like new mexico and as well even some heavy snow getting to portions of the southern plains like texas as well into far western oklahoma but just to the east we'll be seeing that severe weather in areas like dixie alley into now sunday evening where we have those really warm temperatures there full day of cape we could really see some potential really nice severe weather here across texas there oklahoma so we've got to really watch out for those areas and that will carry on to dixie alley but as well really really heavy snow we're talking a massive snowstorm here uh, for portions of the south central carrying on into monday so really heavy snow potential whiteout condition for some areas there into kansas northern texas as well continuing to colorado and that's a big weather will continue throughout monday now into dixie alley there mississippi arkansas into as well portions of mississippi I and mean, we could even see some scattered thunderstorms all the way up to areas like the tennessee valley and ohio river valley but that snowstorm will continue. You see that low pressure right there. You got that kind of warm front right here. So you got the rain and you get the cold front over here and the high pressure way up there. And to can out that cold on the backside. So that's kind of what we're seeing there. That really cold there allowing for frozen precipitation. We'll have that more moist and warmer temperatures there allowing for some really heavy rain and as well. In some cases, severe weather. And that'll kind of die off. But by even Tuesday, that severe weather may actually continue into portions of the southeast with that snow kind of more towards the Great Lakes. But after that, it'll kind of really die off, though. So that was the European. So let's go ahead and check a look now at the 18Z GFS, here's the latest model run. So same thing into Friday evening, you can kind of see some severe storms possibly developing there as a result of that really warm air across portions of the Midwest and portions of the general region. While that cold air kind of makes its way kind of towards the Rockies and western United States along for any precipitation. Precipitation to mainly be that really heavy snow across those mainly higher elevations, but it'll become a lot more widespread now to Saturday. So there you see that low pressure. Kind of got that cold air kind of making its way kind of right here. You can see that low pressure there. That's going to allow for some really heavy snow on the backside of that low pressure. While I kind of see that warm front kind of more towards the north, it really allowing for that severe weather and potentially some severe storms developing to the east side of that low pressure. So that low pressure kind of really kind of sets off the differences between the cold front and the warm front. But 
potential, maybe depending on the winds, blizzard conditions likely into Kansas, uh, Colorado, portions of Oklahoma. Well, we had that severe weather kind of more towards the east there including Oklahoma, Texas, possibly even into the other tip there of southeastern Kansas. And that'll continue all the way up into now next, or technically this Sunday here, basically a week from now, we have that low pressure continue to move its way northward there. See that kind of warm front and making its way in the general region here. Really uh, warm temperatures, quite warm in these regions, uh, possibly 15, 20 degrees above average, specifically in Dixie Alley. So when we're really watching out for areas like Mississippi into Sunday there into Louisiana, with that really heavy snow continuing towards the plains there in upper Nebraska, far western Kansas there, sticking around into Colorado. And that'll make its way into portions of the Midwest by Monday. That severe weather will continue to move, make its way eastward there into now Tennessee and Kentucky Valley. Well, we may see another big Midwestern snowstorm across Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, just areas as really in the general Midwest there. So going to really, really watch out for that. And maybe another snowstorm will develop from this if we have that kind of cold there from the high pressure. So that's going to really possibly see our last or at least second last uh, Mid-Atlantic and Northeast snowstorm for the season. So this really won't be a really small snowstorm, actually. It's going to be quite significant snowfall total-wise, specifically into Colorado and Kansas, according to the European and GFS. They kind of both agree towards Colorado and Kansas. However, the European kind of taking a lot more to the south now, into northern Texas there, northwestern, sorry, northeastern New Mexico, and as well, western Oklahoma. So in this general region, we may see a ton of snow across portions of the south central and as well portions of the Rockies, specifically the south eastern Rockies into New Mexico, but looking at possibly over two feet to three feet across portions of those higher elevations across the Rockies and Cal uh, not California, sorry, and Colorado, 28 plus inches of snowfall, possibly even over of uh, possibly over 40 inches in some scattered areas in those higher elevations outside Denver. But this is going to be very widespread into Kansas there, uh, northern Texas, far western Oklahoma, specifically northwestern Oklahoma. Uh, where we can possibly see over uh, near a foot and a half to two feet, possibly 23 inches there in your Dodge City. Of course, this still, this, still, uh, this still is around about a week now, but definitely models have been quite consistent with it there, even taking that snow across the plains there to the mid uh, the Midwest there, seeing some snow across upper Missouri there, some snow across specifically eastern and southern Iowa there into Wisconsin and portions of uh, Lake Michigan there. So that's obviously going to be very interesting there as well as some good snow across Wyoming there. But specifically, March is kind of the snowiest month for these regions there in the western uh, Midwest there and portions of the northern plains. So it's kind of be kind of more to the south where we typically see that snow. So definitely an interesting track here. And this kind of reminds me of winter from Billy in October, our first or one of our first systems. And it's kind of in this general region. And it was very, very significant. So it's kind of reminding me. So it's going to be, this is definitely going to be one of our last named systems or snowstorms for the season of 2020, 2021. So it's going to kind of be kind of, I guess, ironic that it's very similar to, or not similar, I guess, location wise and significance wise than what we saw with one of our first snowstorms in the year, kind of back into October. GFS is actually sending a lot more snow, however, though typically you don't see that too much, but as you see, the GFS is taking a big snowstorm across, not only a significant across the Great, uh, across the Rockies, but as well, very significant across the Midwest here, all the way up to Iowa and Wisconsin, a big snowstorm. But models are really agreeing, specifically in Colorado there and Kansas, like I said, but you see there's big, big, big difference for these areas here, almost a 20 inch difference for some areas. But the GFS and the European do agree for a big, big bullseye for uh, much of eastern and central uh, Colorado, far western Kansas, and as well much of southwestern Nebraska, showing up to possibly 50 plus inches of snow across this region there into northern, north central Colorado, or Col Colorado there, and some scattered areas of over three inches there across Kansas and as well portions of southwestern uh, Colorado with possibly over eight to possibly even 12 inches of snow across the uh, Midwest there into Nebraska, even all the way up into areas like Illinois. So this could be our last big snowstorm for Chicago if the GFS does plan out over eight inches there. 
with some scattered areas of just under 10 to possibly even 13 inches of snowfall across those upper areas in Iowa, Wisconsin, and far southern Minnesota. So definitely interesting, but we're going to really watch out specifically, though, for big cities like Denver there as well get hit quite hard. Maybe Dodge City may just miss out. However, the European kind of gets them getting two feet. So it's going to be really interesting if we get big cities there, even all the way into areas like Lubbock and Armarillo. going to be interesting if we can get some snow there. And who knows, this snow can even push its way quite significantly uh, into Kansas City if the European plans out. But the GFF plans out, can see some big snow there for areas like Sioux City, into areas as well, uh, into kind of North Platte, and as well, of course, in those higher cities like Chicago and Des Moines, if the GFS does plan out. But definitely, still too far to actually get a good year, a good look here. But definitely, models are agreeing on some things while they're not agreeing on other things. So definitely got to wait for it to get closer. So this is not going to be a look kind of how all this is possible, not just the snow part, but as well the severe weather part. So this is a look at Saturday, kind of the day before this big widespread snow and severe weather. So Saturday, we kind of see our scattered snow showers across the region. And that's kind of partly because we will start to see some below average temperatures in the region. And then we kind of start to see that widespread flooding in the south central because we're going to be seeing really, really warm temperatures up to 15 to possibly even 18 degrees above the actual average, which is warm enough. But this completely changed by Sunday here. We have a complete difference here. Now seeing a massive, massive cold front here uh, developing possibly 25, 24, even possibly even 30 degrees below average, specifically in Colorado, Texas. And that's kind of why this is actually the European. And this is why the European shows a big, big snowfall total down far in the south because we're seeing kind of the coldest temperatures from this actual cold front in the deep south like texas there northern texas into oklahoma something you don't see typically too much with a big big significant snowstorm like this in at this time it'll be mid-march so definitely not too common but then we have those warmer temperatures kind of towards the south there in dixie alley in the south central so you see that kind of potential dry line we have that coal there kind of making its way kind of towards the south. You can kind of see that coal there. You can kind of see that warmer moving this way, the low pressure that way. So that's going to really, really uh, set the pattern for some severe weather, specifically across this region here. And really heavy snow typically across this region here. So that's kind of going to be the pattern. And that's kind of all possible because of these really cold temperatures and warm temperatures. So now back into monday here this will continue to worsen this cold front possibly 35 even possibly 37 uh, 37 degrees below average across portions of the south central and western plains at this point this cold front will become a lot more widespread so the severe weather threat will still be there specifically kind of towards dixie alley but it won't be super significant as there will be quite some cold there but the temperatures will still be quite warm because the averages in these areas are already in the 60s and 70s so a few degrees below average for one or a few hours or at least a day really won't do too much however then we'll start to get those above average temperatures back at least uh scattered regions across the south central here and that's well that's going to by Tuesday, maybe some uh, some severe weather, or at least some thunderstorms across portions of the Ohio Valley as we will have, kind of have some really warm temperatures there with that colder making its way so that will allow for uh, some good conditions, at least for thunderstorms, not anything too severe or anything too major, but definitely at least a thunder or so. So I've got to definitely watch out because the, the pattern is kind of quite good, at least for not only the snow part, but as well as severe weather. So the Friday, the highs we'll be looking at, as you see, that really cold air kind of sticking around the west. Some highs not getting out of the teens for some areas. While in the south central, much of the southeast United States, we're seeing some really warm temperatures. Uh, getting up to 77, 78 degrees, possibly 8 degrees across Texas. With some widespread 70s across the Ozark, or not Ozark, sorry, across the south central Louisiana, portions of Arkansas, and to Dixie Alley. So that's that's Friday, and then to Saturday, the highs are going to continue to be quiet warm reaching near almost 80 degrees there near abilene but that cold there of course will become a lot more widespread with highs not getting out of the 30s across just in the northern part of texas so far southern texas right here and far northern texas will be completely different because here we may see a massive snowstorm with highs in the 30s and down here we're gonna possibly see highs in the mid 80s so completely different for portions of texas there but really cold temperatures in the rockies teens there even single digits 
while we have that really warm air sticking around in the southeast. So that's going to really increase chances for severe weather with that cold air to the north. The really warm temperatures where the actual severe weather could be. But of course, into Sunday, those warmer temperatures will kind of be limited kind of far into Dixie Alley in the south central because those colder temperatures will continue to move far into the south. Now, these, these highs will actually may not even get above freezing across far northern Texas there. Those cold temperatures stretching to Oklahoma there as well. Those cold temperatures even stretching out as well into portions of the Tennessee Valley. Seeing some 40s there, some as well, even some 30s there as well into widespread Kansas, may get near 40 in Oklahoma City. So just just earlier, or just later, earlier last month, 40 and 50s will be considered really warm for these areas, but now it's really cold because of just how warm the temperatures have been in these areas. But this is going to really rise severe weather chances, specifically in the kind of, or not not the coastal areas, but kind of Texas there, Louisiana, portions of Dixie Alley. So that will have to kind of keep in mind kind of Texas and Louisiana and portions of Mississippi for that severe weather, at least for kind of into Sunday to Monday. But for Saturday into Sunday, I'm going to really watch out for severe weather across the south central in general, including portions of far southern Oklahoma and as well even portions of Arkansas. And that kind of severe weather would kind of be more limited by Tuesday. But the shear is going to be very favorable for this severe weather as we're missing a ton of shear across much of the central and just much of the United States in general by Thursday into Friday as well. That will continue. And then into now Sunday, this shear is just going to be absolutely crazy, specifically where we have kind of that snow. At least that cold air, but a ton of shear will be in place across the south central portion of Dixie Alley and the southeast between kind of Saturday and just in general all the way up into as well. That will increase into now by Monday. So better really watch out for some severe weather development. Not saying anything too crazy. However, severe weather is definitely likely, especially as well the ton of moisture we're going to be seeing this time into now Friday night to Saturday. A ton of moisture can be in place across the South Central specifically. And then by uh, as well as uh, Sunday, much of the weekend is going to be very wet across the region. But by Monday, that low pressure kind of does move more toward the north. We're going to be seeing some drier kind of to the west. So it's going to kind of limit to we will be seeing kind of that moisture. So we may just see those linear like systems of severe weather like we saw earlier um, a few days ago. And then that will continue into Tuesday. Some big uh, ton of moisture moving towards the east. So that actually may increase the snow. Chances for that snowstorm pot potentially into portions of the mid uh, Atlantic and portions of the northeast if it does plan out. So now looking at the Cape Valley. So now into Thursday evening to Friday. We will actually have Cape Valleys up to possibly 2,400 joules per kilogram. And into portions of far northern Oklahoma there. According actually says max 2,461. So they have again to really watch out for some severe weather development. Now Friday, we're gonna start seeing areas of between a thousand to a thousand three hundred dues per kilogram across Oklahoma portions as well into Missouri and northern Texas. And now later into now Saturday, we get a valley up to possibly 2,400 joules per kilogram, specifically in far western Texas, but obviously that's kind of where we have some colder air. And the Cape Valley, however, won't be too shabby again. It's still around a week out, so Cape Valley will possibly increase later on as we get closer. And then to, not to Monday, that Cape Valley will kind of really limit, but still got to watch out for some severe weather development. But hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye, guys.